In the previous video, we computed the residuals. We're going to use these residuals in this video to conduct test of the assumptions of the OLS errors. The first test is to determine whether the errors have a mean zero. To do this, we just compute the average of the residuals. Now, no matter what your data looks like, no matter how many variables you have, no matter how many observations you have, the average of the residuals is always going to equal zero. Hence, we don't really need to do this test. I just did it for illustrative purposes. From this test, we can conclude that the errors probably have a zero mean. Now, the next test is whether or not the model, the predicted model, is linear. And this model is linear. We're linear in x1, linear in x2, and linear in x3. Remember, y hat is the predicted winning percentage. x1 is the NBA team's field goal shooting percentage. x2 is an NBA team's three-point an NBA team's opponent's three-point shooting percentage. X3 is an NBA team's opponent's turnovers per game. Okay, and we want to determine whether linearity is a reasonable assumption using, of course, the residuals. And the way we do this is we scatter plot, we scatter plot the residuals and the predicted values. So we're going to highlight the predicted values, the predicted winning percentages of the teams, and the residuals. We scatter plot them. And on the x-axis, we're going to put the predicted y. And on the y-axis, we're going to put residual. And we're going to format this so it looks nicer to the eye. Reduce the number of decimals. Maybe reduce the font of the numbers here. Okay. Now, the scatter plot suggests that linearity is probably uh, an okay assumption. It's okay to assume that our model is probably linear. But I'm going to go ahead and insert a secondary polynomial. I'm going to format this so you can see it better. We'll change it to red. And we'll include the equation and the R square value. Okay. Now if if the red curve was if the red curve was really bowed, the red curve was really bowed, maybe this direction or this direction, then we conclude that linearity is probably not a valid assumption. Because this red curve is so flat, because this red curve is so flat, and it's pretty linear, the residuals have a mean zero, and the residuals don't change much as the predicted value of y increases. So because this is basically a line with a zero slope and a zero intercept, we can conclude that the model is probably linear. Now in the next video, we're going to test for constant variance in the error, autocorrelation in the error, and normality.